Being a teenager can be tough. But it shouldn't feel hopeless. According to the World Health Organization, one in seven 10 to 19 year olds experience mental health disorder. It's okay to not be okay. Depression and mental health look different for everyone, and a person with a mental illness should not be treated any differently than if someone were experiencing a physical illness, like a broken leg. It's not a choice or a failure, but you can make a difference by recognizing the signs. Do you often feel sad, anxious, worthless, or even empty? Have you lost interest in the activities you used to enjoy? Do you get easily frustrated, irritable, angry? Do you find yourself withdrawing from friends and family? Have your eating or sleeping habits changed? Have you thought about suicide or harming yourself? Have you turned to unhealthy habits to cope, such as drug and or alcohol use? Over two million men suffer from mental health disorders, and only half of these men seek help. It is okay to not be the tough guy all the time. It is okay to talk to someone about how you are feeling, seek out a trusted adult, counselor, friend, coach, or a parent to help you find help that you need. Being tough is not getting help. Being tough is facing the fact that it's okay not to be okay. We want you to know that you're not alone and that help is available. You can feel better. If you have been feeling sad most of the time or for a few weeks or longer, and you're not able to concentrate or do the things that you're used to enjoy, here are some resources. Talk to a trusted adult about how you've been feeling. This could be your parent or guardian, your teacher, school counselor, coach, or club advisor. Try your best to keep a regular sleep schedule and eat healthy foods. Spend time with friends and family, even if you don't feel like you want to, and stay active and exercise. Even just going for a walk, physical activity releases chemical like endorphins and can help you feel better. We have trained mental health therapists in our building. You can get the help you need throughout the school day. Your counselor can work with you on placing a referral. I'm here to talk to you about a resource that we have called Care Solace. Care Solace is a mental health platform that you can access through our website to help not only yourself gain mental health support, but your friends and family too. Let's take a quick look at the page. Click on the four students tab in the district website. When there, you can click on the buttons on the top of the page to speak to someone on the phone, a video chat, or a text to get help. You can also search for the supports on your own. The overall goal of Care Solace is to connect our school and community to mental health supports so that everyone can be safe, happy, and educated. Stands for Student Assistance Program. The SAP team can give mental health or drug and alcohol assessments and can help connect students to counseling. Anyone can make a referral to the SAP team, teachers, students, parents, coaches, or administrators. If you or someone you know needs help outside of school, call or text 988 or visit 988lifeline.org. Remember, your mental well-being matters, so embrace your uniqueness and keep in mind we are here to support the best you. We got this.